and doing I love you and welcome back to another episode of NFL Predictions. Last time we did week 7 and today we'll be doing week 8. But before we get into week 8, let's recap week 7. For the first time in this series, I had a losing record of 6 and 8. Uh, I had some upset games like the Jets and Broncos winning on prime time that didn't happen. But there were also some games like the Colts looking really strong in the AFC getting a nice win over Houston. The Titans winning in an insane game at LA with Melvin Gordon fumbling at the one. Let's go baby. The Ravens beat the Seahawks in Seattle. Lamar Jackson out there looking like a video game character. Then you had the Rams dominating the Falcons. Another fun division game. A lot of fun games here. And man, that game in the elements. The Niners and the Redskins was really great. Speaking of the Washington Redskins, that's how we're going to begin Week 8 with the Washington Redskins take on the Minnesota Vikings for Thursday Night Football. I like how this is a primetime game. I think there's some cool storylines. You have Case Keenum, former Vikings quarterback, now with the Redskins, and Kirk Cousins, former Redskins quarterback, taking on the Vikings. And then you have Adrian Peterson, you know, who's on the Redskins, playing his former team in Minnesota. But... Storylines are good, but I don't think the game will be. I think Minnesota is going to dominate going to 6-2. and two. Uh, Another team that I think is really strong in the NFC, the Seattle Seahawks going up against the Atlanta Falcons. I think the Seahawks are going to dominate. Atlanta just doesn't look great at all. And I think Dan Quinn, the Falcons head coach, will be gone at the end of the season. Okay, the New York Giants and the Detroit Lions. The Lions are 2-3-1, and one, but I think they're a team that's better than their record. They almost beat the Chiefs. They almost beat the Packers. They've been close in, you know, a lot of their games. A competitive team, I think they're going to win. The Giants are good. You know, Daniel Jones has had some nice rookie moments. But I just think Detroit's um, a better team. Cardinals and the Saints. This could be Drew Brees' first game back. Teddy Bridgewater has actually gone undefeated as a starter for New Orleans. So super happy for Teddy. But Brees is back, and I think the Saints will get a win. I think it will be close. Arizona, they're in a very competitive division. So I, I think that this game is going to be close. I think it'll be about a touchdown or two ten points. I think Arizona, with the way they're using Kyle Murray, we saw how electric Chase Edmonds was. Three touchdowns, a fantastic game against New York. I think this will be a close game, but I think the Saints are going to get a win in Breeze's return. And then we have the Panthers playing against the Niners. Um, Panthers are a good team, but I think they're going to drop one here. Niners, I think they're going to continue Staying at undefeated, they traded for Emmanuel Sanders, which was a pretty great move in my opinion. So now we go to AFC versus NFC here. We have the Los Angeles Chargers taking on the Chicago Bears. Man, this is a really tough game for me because I like the Bears' defense, but they struggled against New Orleans, and they have struggled other times this season. But then you have the Chargers, who haven't just been able to execute this season, and their defense is iffy. So it comes down to the offenses. Mitchell Trubisky has not looked great. Philip Rivers hasn't had a great season, but he's played good. And I think the Chargers will win a very close game. I could see either team honestly winning this one here at Soldier Field. Philadelphia Eagles here take on the Buffalo Bills. One of the favorite, one of my favorite teams in the Eagles against a team I'm rooting for the Bills. I'm going with Buffalo on this one. They're a really strong team on the defense, and I think their offense can get it done. The Eagles have just the, the Eagles defense is really bad, and I think the Bills at home are going to get, I think they'll probably go in like 24-14 in a pretty dominant win. I think they'll move to 6-1. and one. Bengals uh, versus Rams in London. Uh, Bengals, I think, in my opinion, one of the worst teams. They're going to drop to 0-8. Oh, no. Wrong team. Rams are going to win. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, LA is going to win. And then you have Tampa Bay and Tennessee. The Buccaneers and Titans, two uh, teams that both drafted a quarterback in 2015, and both quarterbacks haven't worked out. You have Jameis Winston, who's just kind of turned the ball over, hasn't really improved under Bruce Arians, and then you have Marcus Mariota, who's sitting on the bench for Ryan Tannehill, who I think is going to get another win in Tennessee. If you looked at last week, Tannehill did enough with the Titans, I think, to get a win. I think Tennessee's defense is pretty good, so I think the Titans will win at home. Packers Chiefs, man, this was a game I was so excited for, but then um, unfortunately Patrick Mahomes got injured. We were going to have a Rodgers versus Mahomes showdown, but now it's Green Bay, a very dominant team against Mahomes less Chiefs, and I think the Packers are going to win. Even if Mahomes was playing, I would still give Green Bay a win. I think Green Bay looks like one of the best teams in the NFL. Hope, you know, I wish Patrick Mahomes a speedy recovery.
We have some AFC games here with the Jets and Jaguars. Man, I don't know what to think of the Jets. They beat the Cowboys, and then they lost to the Patriots. I think that the Jaguars are going to get a win here and go to 4-4. Four and four. Um, Leonard Fournette's looking really good this season. Raiders-Texans. Um, I think that the Texans are going to win. The Raiders' defense played really poorly against Aaron Rodgers, and I think a similar scenario is going to happen here with Houston. Denver and Indy, two teams that have had, you know, history with each other. John Elway, drafted by the Colts, traded to the Broncos. Peyton Manning, a former Colt, was, you know, signed by the Broncos. But I think Indy's going to win. I think the Colts are one of the best teams in the NFL this season. Browns, Patriots. People are saying, you know, Cleveland could hand New England a first loss. I don't think so. The Patriots' defense is playing amazing. I read something that, like, the Patriots, like, I don't know, it was insane, like, if the New England offense didn't even play this season. The Patriots would, would still be like 3-3-1. I think the New England has one of the best defenses, and I think they're a really well-kept organization. Where I think the Browns are a mess. And then Monday Night Football, Dolphins-Steelers. I know some people are kind of putting this news button on this one. But for me, I think that it's going to be somewhat close. I think Miami, still 0-6, has, has started to look competitive over the past couple of weeks. And I think the Steelers without Big Ben, it's going to be a very interesting game. But I like the Steelers in this game. And that's it, guys. So I have all the home teams winning this week except the Chargers, Packers, and Seahawks. I think a lot of close games this weekend. Let me know you guys your thoughts in the comments below. And this is when Tam and Daniel Love. I'll see you guys next week for Week 9.